Hey guys, what's up? Shark here. To be honest, today I want to introduce a pretty generic RF Juggernaut build. But the special thing about it are the weapons. I do a real die this axis. It seems that not many people are aware of how strong his weapons are with the right ingredients. The spelling, what they actually do, could be a little bit confusing to especially newer players. So I thought about making a video how you approach it to get it going with RF. Due to his tankiness, this character was mainly my boss killer for Guardians and Elder himself in Abyss Hardcore League. But beware, I wouldn't say that build is cheap at all. Well, before I start with the introduction of a build template, I would like to mention that I play BOE only in Hardcore Leagues. So usually there happens no main maxing according to gear and therefore much room for improvements. But let's start. The more elemental damage roll is essential on your helmet and comes from Essence of Horror. That's pretty OP and one of the reasons RF is so strong nowadays. Your goal for Ankem should be to get your hands on an Essence of Horror crafted Della based helmet, as you can see here. Ella bases can roll conk effect as a prefix and also burning damage as a suffix. The main damage setup depends on the rolls from your helmet but usually consists of righteous fire, alley focus, burning damage and increased area. Swap increased area for a conk effect on harder bosses. You can also use item rarity gem in indoor maps, that's up to you. For weapon slot, do or die this. Try to get corrupted ones with weapon range and culling strike. It says enemies chill by you take 100% increased burning damage and chill enemies for 1 second on hit when in offhand. If you ask yourself why is this guy using Nidus also in main hand? Well, I only need the chill effect from offhand to get the increased burning damage, right? Yeah, that's right, but on top of that the damage buff stacks. Means when you chill, you also get the increased burning damage from your main hand. And that's insane. You deal a fuck ton more damage. To get rid of boring RF Scorching Ray gameplay, we choose it up with some Cyclone action. Cyclone fits in the best. Link it with Brutality, Blood Magic and Fortify. Brutality Gem basically neutralizes the elemental damage on the weapons. And that's essential to get a proper elemental equilibrium going. I proc EE overcast when damage taken, blade vortex and increased crit. In addition I'm using a jewel which adds cold damage to spells. If you don't have access to abyss jewels, link cast when damage taken setup, blade vortex with added cold damage. For hours I run vitality and purity of fire. I died way too early so my endgame setup would be Vitality, Purity of Fire and Purity of Lightning, linked with Enlightened Level 3. Other setups are High Level, Cast with Damage Taken linked with Stone Golem for that extra life regen, and then Leap Slam, Fast Attacks, and Enduring Cry. For leveling I use Frostbreath and switch to Righteous Fire and Scorching Ray at level 20. You need a special setup to get it going that early. Search for leveling with RF on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you will find it. You can also level as a melee and transition into RF in the 60s. It's up to you. Uh, I helped Oak for the extra region, for the bandits. The link for the passive tree at PUB is in the description of this video. My ascendancy class of choice for this build is Juggernaut, combined with Chaos Sway. This setup provides us a factor of highly needed life region because we don't use Rise of the Phoenix. For your gear in general, you primarily need to look for FXs such as elemental resistances and life on all this stuff. For endgame, I also recommend using a plus V unset ring socket with purity of fire. Your helmet should be ally based, crafted with a sense of horror. Pray here for conk effect or burning damage. Mandatory unix are Didus axes. Nice to have a for sure calms heart and a well rolled marble amulet. That's it boys, if you liked the video and want to see more, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that, enjoy.